Do you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2020 for free? Stick around to find out how. Hello everybody, I'm Emerald Void, and welcome to this episode of Trading Card Game Thursdays. Uh, the show where I talk all things trading card games. Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, Magic, Hearthstone, any any trading card or collectible game, whether it's physical or digital. Uh, and the border's kind of extruding my hand, like cutting off my hands, but I'm doing a lot of this. Anyway, uh, so there's a few things that you need to get this up and running, but you don't need a whole lot. If you've played uh, uh, UGO Pro Percy, YGO Pro, Dev Pro, any of the pros, the, the applications that you download and play Yu-Gi-Oh on, this is pretty much the same thing, but it's got a new, it's got a bunch of new features and a lot better skin, and it's just a the be it's arguably the best one so far. Uh, I just found out about it, but I, I messed around with it a little bit this morning, and I've got to say, out of all the ones that I have tried out, this is the best one. So. The first thing you're going to need, um, first off, all the links for everything that I go over is going to be in the description. Um, so just uh, click down below and you'll have all the links that you need to get it up and running. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is the Discord link. And you're going to need that because that's how you download the game. You'll join their Discord, you'll go to their download section, and then you'll just download the, uh, the zip file. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need WinRAR, 7-Zip, or any software that's going to let you unzip a zip file or a RAR file or whatever format that's going to be in when you download it. Uh, the third thing is an optional thing. You may or may not need it, but that's Net Framework. So when you go to launch the game, if it tells you that your Net Framework's out of date, I have a link in the description to Net Framework 4.8. If you need it, you may not need it. I didn't need it when I launched it, but I also keep my net framework up to date just because there's so many games that I play that they're like, hey, your net framework's out of date. And I've got so much stuff running that's like, hey, these drivers are out of date or this software is out of date. So my net framework was up to date, so I really didn't have to do that. But if you have to update your net framework, it is in the description as well. 4.8 is the newest version that's on the website. And you just go there, download it, and install it, and then it should work. Whew! A lot to not not really a lot to go over, but a lot to go over. So I'm gonna hop down to my computer and I'm gonna show you what to do when you download the zip file from the Discord server. All right, so I have made a folder called Dev Pro 2020. It's not Dev Pro, it's EDO Pro. I just forgot when I named it, and I just never got around to changing it. But I made a folder and I made a tutorial folder because I already have the game installed, so I just want to do a fresh install. So here you have your zip file, so you'll just right-click on it, 7-zip, uh, WinRAR, whatever software that you have, and you can either extract it to its own folder, which is redundant if you already have it in a folder. If you just have it saved on your desktop, then you probably want to extract it to the Project, Indus, uh, Project Ignis EDO Pro. If you already have, if you put that zip file in a folder, then you can just extract here. And it doesn't take very long to extract. It's going to make a folder anyway called uh, Project Ignis. So it, you could have just put it in a directory on a drive and just ex un extracted it and had a like a Project Ignis folder. But I always like to keep my stuff kind of organized, uh, you know, as best I can. So once that's done downloading, you'll have this Project Ignis folder. You'll just open it there and you'll have a edopro.exe. I'm going to go ahead and mute my sound because there's going to be sound coming from this and it's going to be not really loud, but it's going to be obnoxious. So once you launch the game, it's going to look like this. Let me just blow it up. And that is it. You are now in the game. Um, like I said, it looks pretty much like if you've played Dev Pro or UGO, YGO Percy or any of the other ones, this is going to look f uh, super familiar. You've got your servers. Land versus AI, puzzles, replays, decks, etc. You've got all your different settings over here. Uh, you have different themes that you can select, and there's just there's just a lot of options in this version. Uh, I'm going to go over one particular option in particular that I think is amazing. Going to go to decks here. Um, it's going to load your cards when you've not when when there is a card that you have not 
uh, looked at, it's gonna, you know, take a minute to load it. But there's a big button right here called Test Hand. When you click that button, it's gonna let you test your hand and just play it out. So, I mean, I have no idea what this deck is, so I'm just gonna, you know. But yeah, it's gonna let you test out your deck. It's got all these different options over here, and you can play a solitaire game with yourself, basically, and test out. Maybe there's a combo that you're trying out, or you want to see what the best, what your best hand is. Maybe it's a deck that you've never played before, and you just kind of want to test out different hands, or you know, whatever. It it, it is a super duper useful feature. But that is going to be it, guys. That is how you play this new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh software that has just come out in 2020. I'm going to be doing some more videos. I'm actually going to be doing a customization series where I walk you through how to customize this entire thing, all the purples and the cogwheels, and I'm going to try to customize as much of this as I physically can. I may not be able to customize it all because I might not have the skill, but I'm going to try my damnedest to customize every bit about this. But uh, stay tuned for those videos. I don't know why I clicked back to that. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned on the, to the channel for more videos about EDO Pro. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought, what you want to see from this. Uh, if you want to see more EDO Pro stuff or whatever. But uh, I'm Emerald Void, and before I go, I've just got one question for you. Are you feeling nostalgic yet?